Z Freeman Decorative Painting, and um, I'm posting a second video. Uh, I'm going to video this job as we're going along and showing different stuff that we're doing as far as wood grain. Uh, before we get to the doors, I wanted to get a glaze on the garage door because the sun's coming over here and it's going to be hard to work. So I wanted to do a couple panels too before we started the uh, started the video because I didn't want to go, uh, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> It's not working. We'll be back after these messages. <laughs> but um, so I got I got I got the feel that I want to go with on the on these panels, and so I'm gonna do a panel right now for you. And yeah, we got the little heart grain in there, and uh, show you how we do it. Get your glaze mixed up, and I'm not gonna tell you what that is because I gotta keep some things secret. But basically, you know, mix up the glaze the way you want it, and uh, and then you get it uh, spread it out. This after you get a good uh, eggshell base coat on, so the glaze just sort of slides over the top. Sometimes doors look good with one process. This might be able to get away with one process. You know, me and Julian were debating on that, on whether we would just leave it like it is. But whenever you put that second process in, man, and you put another tone glaze over the top of it, it just makes it look that much more killer. And then we uh, lay, lay the glaze down with a nice little Strie brush. These are nice Omega brushes. I love these brushes. I can't get enough of them. Get it all laid down. And then you just sort of look back, you know, and see where something would fit, you know. We got some heart grain panels going that way, so, you know, just to mix it up, we'll probably go this way this time. Drag it along and and remember, contrast is important, you know, when you got a dark line and then a really light area, that really makes everything pop out. But it all has to flow together, you know, it can't just, all the lines have to flow together. And then you got that. So then, just sort of tie in all the loose edges. How about squeezing a cabin in on that one, Zach? A what? <laughs> a, cabin. a cabin. Like Bob Ross would do. <laughs> yeah, right. right. You want your heart grains to be happy heart grains. Happy. So. Exactly. <laughs> so that's pretty much right there. And once you got it looking good, leave it alone. Don't overwork it. Once it looks good, you get it to where you want. It's a tendency, especially with newbies, to get all excited. Oh, wow, that looks so killer. I'm going to make it look even more killer. And then they mess it up. So it looks good. Leave it alone. Move on to the next one. Because you got plenty to do. We'll, do. we'll do this whole panel on this video. Show you how it goes. Get the glaze spread out. Careful, try not to get on your previous glaze there because that'll, you know, that's starting to set up. So if you get fresh glaze on it, it might pull it off. Try not to bump back over what you already did. So basically, knock this down nice and level. Keep a rag with you so your, your brush gets all charged up with the glaze and you want to get all that out of there. Just like this, like this. Um, also, too, I will tell you this much. I will give you this, let you know this much into the secret. You want to try not to do the oil base because I've already been down the road and redone so many doors because they get all chalky and chalky and start cracking. Oil base does not do good on metal out in the exterior in the Florida sun. 
So whatever system you come up with, try to make it latex. Make sure it has UV protectants in it. So we're sort of just trying to make this panel blend with that one like we got just one big heart grain right there. And try not to do that too much because it's too, you know, that'll look good for one spot, but don't do doing it all over the place. Alright, looks good. Well, a little bit of detail in here. Tie these together. And also, you don't want to focus so much that you forget these guys up here. So you just maybe drag a little bit there, drag a little bit right here. Down here, I went completely linear. Right here, I sort of maybe want to bring them where they fade up into the edges a little bit. Never keep everything exactly the same. You want to mix it up a little bit so it looks natural. That sun is really booking towards me because once it starts pounding on these doors, it's over. You're not doing nothing. You're not doing nothing but watch it bake. And make sure it's a glaze. It stays wet for a good while. This is really nice stuff. That's the you. secret recipe. I'm not telling you what it is. <laughs> and this will be like a probably a little rogue panel that's all by itself. And if you want to get some extra highlights, it's good every once in a while. Just take your rag and just drag it through there. Put a nice big white line. Because when you overglaze it and you stand back, those little contrasts, well actually they look big contrasts, but you know, every once in a while putting that in there, it really makes the door pop. It makes it all sort of come together, you know. Maybe throw a little line down there like that. Alright. Well, everybody has their way of doing garage doors and stuff, and I've seen some nice garage doors. Some really nice ones. I got this one guy on YouTube. He sings while he's doing it. <laughs> it's like, wow, man, that guy's charismatic. <laughs> he does, man. He does. I'll show it to you later. He like puts a little, a little jingle in at the end of his. <laughs> I was like, check this guy out. I really like him. I never met him before. He does nice doors. after we get the overglaze on and the uh, you know any other little detail spots you got to put a hardcore clear coat on man or else uh, your beautiful little finish ain't gonna last no longer than a snowball down here Looking, man, I might be able to get both doors done today. Nice, beautiful day. I feel so bad for everybody up north. All my friends up there, I'm watching all your little Facebook posts <laughs> talking about how you're holed up in your houses and stuff in your faces. <laughs> feel so bad for you. So beautiful down here. I don't mean to pile on or anything. <laughs> Step back, look. I'll maybe do another panel like this. There we go. Bang, done.